Finnish people can be a little bit challenging to make friends with because we are not that social and not that outgoing. But if you manage to make friends with Finns, they will be friends for life. And that's why I'm here to share your 12 tips how to make friends with Finns. Yeah, believe it or not, it's actually possible. Let's go check it right now. What up, Fantastic? Good to have you here on the new video. But if you're here for the first time, welcome. My name is Alexi and I create fantastic videos about Finnish culture, lifestyle and language. So if you're into those kind of things, subscribe because you will join our Fantastic squad as well. First, I want to share a few things to keep in mind in general regarding friendships in Finland. Number one, it's actually challenging to make good friends in adult age. Because when we get older, we have our jobs, we have our hobbies, we already have our friend circles. So we are quite busy. So it's not easy to squeeze time to make more friends. So if you happen to be in your early 20s, you're still at the university, still in school, that is probably the one of the best places to make friends. So you definitely want to take use into that. If you come here to study a degree or exchange, that's where you should definitely be active. But if you already passed that phase in your life, don't worry because I've got more tips coming for you. Let's check them out. Number two, Finns are not active in social situations. We've talked about this many times on this channel, but Finns do not talk unless it's necessary. So this means that you have to be the one who engages in the conversation, breaks the ice and start talking. Even if we Finns don't do it actively, it doesn't mean that we don't want to talk. That's just our default mode. Believe it or not. It depends on the person. For some people it might be a little easier to start talking and some people are just shy by nature so it might be a little bit challenging but don't worry because when I was in my early 20s I was also really shy. I didn't talk to new people as much as I wanted to but little by little I managed to gather courage, confidence and also skills to approach and talk to people. And the point is that just go talk to them and see what happens. You will eventually find those Finns who are both international minded and also talkative. And I bet my Finnish ass that there are those type of Finns, even if they're kind of rare creatures. It's just a stereotype that Finns don't talk. Keep that in mind. Number three, Finns don't need that many friends. I was reading some Finnish articles on this topic and it was stated that quality over quantity. There might be fewer friendships, but they last longer in Finland. So in case you don't get that many Finnish friends, that's okay because you want to focus on the quality on those friendships that you manage to eventually eventually acquire. Number four, Finns are like coconuts. And during my studies, I think I was in Poland and we had this kind of workshop thingy. Don't really remember what was the topic, but there was a really great analogy and metaphor about different types of people. There are coconut type of people and peach type of people. And Finns are just like coconuts. And if you think about a coconut, it's like a really hard, thick shell on the outside. But in the inside, it's like very delicious, soft and awesome milk inside. So that's a really great way to describe Finns because we, at first we are kind of like shy and it takes time to for us to open and, you know, develop the relationship. But once you manage to break that through that shell, Finns are pretty damn awesome people. And the other side is the peach. And if there's people disagreeing with me, you can let me know in the comments below, but just, I'm just kind of guessing. But for example, I think the Spanish and like these Latin American people are more like peach type. The soft is kind of like a easy to get out, kind of soft, delicious stuff. But in the inside, there's like a really hard seed. So it's kind of the opposite. So that it's really easy to get to know them, but developing like a deep relationship is a little bit difficult. But the Finns are those coconut types. And keep this in mind because when you actually find those cool people, Finnish people you wanna engage and kind of maybe become friends with, you need to take things a little bit slowly at first. See how things develop. But, and once you manage to break through the shell, you have a friend for life. Tip number five is know your interests. Because knowing what you're into, what are your passions, what are your hobbies, it's easier to find people with similar interests by going into a place where you can meet such people. But if you're, for example, in the dancing, you might consider taking some dance classes here in Finland, or if you're in the books, consider joining a book club. There's many opportunities. And because people who share similar interests are more likely to get along better. That makes sense, right? Even if the things might be completely in Finnish and you don't understand much of Finnish, but if you just find that one person who's, who speaks good English and who are into international cultures and international people, then you're succeeding already. So keep that in mind as well. What kind of tips do you have regarding Finnish and 
friendships with Finns? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, and then I have a few action points for you. Let's check them out as well. Number one, get a new hobby. If you don't really have interests or you don't really know what kind of stuff you're into, consider starting a new hobby. Because when you're into hobbies, it's easier to strike up conversations, start talking and such. It's also more likely to find similar people like you. Again, it could be dancing, sports, swimming, crafting, anything. So for example, last summer I took some dance classes because I had some extra spare time and actually met some cool people and we even went to some dances together on our free time, which is pretty cool. I'm not doing that anymore because I moved here to Helsinki, but that's a good example on how you can do that as well. Number two, check who's already around you. Are you taking classes at uni? Start saying hi and hello to your classmates you see in every lesson. Already working in Finland? Start connecting with your workmates. Start going together with lunch with them. Strike up conversations. Already doing some hobbies? Start saying hello to the gym owner you, you meet every time you go to the gym or if you're taking group exercise sports like I did at uni. Start saying hello to your fellow mates you see every, at every class. Living in a block of flats? Start saying hello to your neighbors. Believe me, it's actually acceptable in Finland. We just don't do it, or at least most of us don't, but I like to do it. If you have kids, you're going to park, start striking up convos with the other parents playing with their kids in the park. If you're already going to some places frequently and you meet the same people often, start connecting with them and you might find a friend or two there. Number three, go to events. And in Finland, in every city, there are a number of events going on all the time. For example, there is a whole website dedicated for Helsinki events so, and also in English. So you can just go there, scroll, see what's interesting, if there's anything interesting for you, and then just go and you might again find people with similar interests, easier to start conversations, easier to connect and also to make friends. For example, Google Helsinki events and you should find plenty of information there. Number four, volunteering. This might be a little bit off-putting, but there are a number of volunteering opportunities here in Finland. So if you're into that, you should consider definitely doing that because you can meet people, network, and even develop friendships there and also gain some work experience. For example, on Red Cross Finland, you can find a volunteering section in English and they have even this multicultural stuff. So maybe that could be working for you. Number five, public sauna. You know, sauna is a very Finnish thing. I've also made a video about Finnish sauna. You can check it out after this video. We Finns are kind of weird creatures. We normally don't talk to strangers that much, but when we get naked, go to sauna, throw some lolu with strangers, we easily strike up conversations. Can you believe that? And public saunas, they're actually quite cool and quite refreshing. There's a lot of them, for example, here in Helsinki, there's Sompa sauna in Tampere. There are a lot of great public saunas like Kaupinojan sauna or Rauhaniemi public sauna. Definitely worthwhile to go. And don't worry, in public saunas, you don't actually be naked because it's like a mix. So there's both, both guys and girls there. So it is actually not naked. Normally we do naked sauna, but that's usually on private, but in public sounds we usually use swimwear. The less clothes Finns wear, the more talkative they get. Can you believe that? Number six, this is a really good one, social media. You can find, for example, lots of Facebook groups in each city. Tampere has uh, like this Tampere Internationals, and you can also find international-minded Finns there, which is definitely something you should look for, because those are really potential French French material. Well, you know what I mean. Of course, here in Helsinki, there's also lots of them. So, so my advice to you is look for these international Facebook groups in each city. And you can just post like, hey, I'm just, just moved to Helsinki or I'm here living for six months. I'd like to meet some Finns who I can just hang out with casually. Would anyone be up for it? And I, I, I bet my Finnish ass again that you, will, you should get at least some answers because many people have done that before you and I've heard it works quite well. So why wouldn't that work for you? You should also check out meetup.com. I think it mostly works in Helsinki only at the moment. But if you're in Helsinki, you can check it out. There's a number of these kind of groups and they organize these events within the group so you can join them and connect and meet people there. And another good one is Couchsurfing. Couchsurfing is this kind of like a, you can crash someone's place for free, but they also throw these like hangouts, weekly hangouts, so you can just go there. And that's also a great place to meet international money Finns, by the way. You should do that. And tip number seven also, don't give up. We Finns are a little bit challenging when it comes to like social dynamics and stuff, but once you manage to find those awesome Finns, get through the shell, I bet my Finnish ass again, you will have lots of good friends for life. It's just how we Finns are. To develop that friendship might take a while, but once we manage to get to that level, 
it will be freaking awesome. Previously, I, I made a video about Finnish characteristics. So if you want to get more good information and insights about Finns, check out this video and make sure you also subscribe because you will get more of these kind of Finnish videos in the future. See you in the next video. So much.